Welcome to the video guys. I know this video is gonna look like it was shot a while back, but that's because it was. This video is about rope stretching. It's what Nico does before he does a run. It's just, uh, he finds it's a good, well-rounded kind of routine that can help, you know, activate and stretch and prime your legs for the run. It is not affiliated with NEU or Newberry Park. It is just what Nico likes to do. So keep that in mind and enjoy. Hopefully you get something out of it. Sound like I like to start with knee pulls where I just grab my knee under my knee and pull it back into uh, so you just get a little bit of a stretch and then pull on, pull on your knee to get that little bit of a stretch. Where should you feel it? You should feel it in your hamstring and where your hamstring connects to your glute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. The next stretch I do is not with the rope. I lift my leg up until I can't lift my leg up anymore and then I grab the back of my hamstring and I move my leg up and down and you should feel that all the way down your leg kind of throughout like your sciatic nerve system. The next stretch that I do is also without the rope. It, I start by laying on my side and I grab my ankle and I pull, uh, I pull back and then I put my leg forward kind of like what a lot of people do standing, but this one's laying down. You should feel this stretch on the top of your quad. And then also on all of these uh, stretches, I like to do eight on each side. And then after this stretch, I do a laying on my back and I grab the top of my knee and I pull it over my over my other leg. And it, this, you should feel this stretch in your piriformis and the um, like back of your glute. Also in all of these stretches you want to keep your foot in dorsiflexion so that's keeping it straight up and um, not like wobbling. You don't want your leg moving everywhere or your foot moving everywhere. You want to keep it straight as you can see in the video. Now this is starting the stretches with the rope. I wrap the rope around my foot and I just I lift my leg up without using the rope all the way until I can't lift it up anymore and then I give it a tug with the rope and I do that eight times on each leg. And then the next stretch that I do after that is I also wrap it around my foot the same way, but then I grab the rope and I wrap it around the outside of my calf and all the way to the inside. And then I lift my leg up just like I did in the stretch before this. And then I pull it over my, uh, over my body to get a stretch in my glute. And you want to make sure that your back and your uh, butt is staying on the ground. Uh, you don't want to be twisting twisting over because uh, then you're not doing the stretch right. And you do eight for all of these Yeah, as well. you do eight for all of these. Every, every stretch in this entire thing you do eight times. Then the next stretch after this is similar to the one we just did. You wrap it the same way around your foot, on the outside of your calf, and then under. And then this one you just pull. You don't lift up like we did on the last one. You just pull over your body and give it a little tug. Still not rotating your shoulders or your waist. You want to keep that flat on the ground. The next stretch after this is you still wrap it on your foot, but this time you're going to wrap it the other way on the inside of your calf and then under and out. And then you're going to pull your leg to the outside all the way out like in the video and you're going to feel a stretch on the inside on your, on your groin muscles. You're going to feel it there and you want to do that eight times as well. But the last stretch that I do is a calf stretch where I, where I wrap the rope on the bottom of my foot and then I pull it up over my feet and um, twist it so then it's I can just easily pull my foot back and uh, stretch my calf and I just pull that back eight times then I push my foot forward and then I pull it back again and that's one and I do that eight times on each foot and this for this calf stretch it does not matter what your other foot is doing you can be it doesn't have to be straight and dorsiflexion like the rest of this. Yeah.